Hundreds of Uganda papaya farmers are counting big losses after their crops were attacked by papaya mealybug. Papaya growers from the districts of Kayunga, Luero Mukono, and Rira confirmed that papaya mealybug is widespread and causing a lot of damage to the fruits. The pest is a big threat to the food nutrition security as it has diversely affected the safe trade and competitiveness of the agricultural sector. So we've had a problem of mealbugs affecting us so much to the extent that some gardens you cannot even yield one percent out of that farm much as you invest because for one acre you need you need 500,000 to prepare it but it's so sad because of meal bags you can end up if it affects you at a very early stage you can get zero percent we call upon the officials or the scientists, the agricultural scientists, to come on board to try to, to bring us what we requires to mitigate or to overcome the papaya meal. But we are really there crying. Papaya has been a crop which can make a farmer to revamp from low earning status to at least middle. Status. The farmers attested that the pest has caused massive yield losses in terms of quality and quantity of products resulting in food financial losses. So this is a very, very, very good plant that you are, you are expecting to get weekly harvest. Okay. Let's say that you are selling one pop at 500. So you are expecting some 500,000 shillings. But for now, if you are very lucky, you can get 50,000 instead of 500,000. The production quantity harvest has reduced. You can find that now it's difficult to get even 700 purples from an acre a week. That is due to the uh, enlarging outbreak of papaya milk bag. Papaya milk bag, it is, we farmers, we can say it's a pest but it has gone beyond the normal uh, known how of a pest because we the farmers we know that if it's a pest it can be it, it, can, it can be overgone by a, a pesticide or a chemical but we have tried the chemicals week by week agricultural researchers said the management of papaya mealybug is a matter of vital importance and concern to farmers as there is likelihood that the pest will spread to other areas beyond the current location. Why we have come out now is to encourage farmers who have seen the same problem to come out and inform us so that we can intervene and support wherever possible. Through our extension work, this is, why the, this is the engagement we are having with our people so that they go back and teach the farmers what to do on a farm. The Director Crop Protection Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Dr. Stephen Tibejuka Biantwara, says focus is on resistance and mechanism that prevent or limit post infection in the plants. We have worked with the international scientists, gone to other labs in the UK, gone to other labs in Kenya, and confirmed that the pests we have are not the usual millet bugs that we have been having on our crops. This is a different millet bug and it is targeting purpose. He advised farmers to eradicate infected plants in the farm as fast as possible to minimize the spread of the pest. What is critical is the identification at the onset of the problem. The other issue I have told you that when you observe the leaves that would be growing to spread now starting to like contract and turning yellow. Immediately uproot that purple because the next stages will be to spread the problem. To them. The purples now start looking like. So you can focus on this. If farmers see something like this, they should report immediately or cut it down, remove them and bury. Because when you bury them, they die. And if it is still one purple, one tree, 
Then you cut it, you chop, and where you have cut it, you dig a hole, you bury it, you will have finished the transmission. Yes. Farmers are being trained on the use of non host trap plant to attract vectors and adoption of the use of biocontrol. As Dr. Carolyn Nankinga Mary, the Assistant Commissioner of Psychosanitary and Quarantine Inspection Services in the Department of Crop Inspection, Minister of Agriculture, explains. We want to advise the farmers to scout, to look at their papaya in case they find any infected plant, they have to reduce the remove immediately. Also, to use some friendly biopesticides like biopesticides, which they can spray on the tree to reduce the infestation. However, we have also found that apart from the papaya mealy bug, the papaya is faced by, by viral infections, by bacterial infection, and so many other things, which is seeming to be transmitted through seeds. So the next package now is to see which varieties the farmers have grown so that we can start uh, supply clean seed with the uh, chemical dealers or the seed dealers to see that if we can start with clean seed, can we sustain uh, or can we control the spread of this pest? <laughs> Okay, thank you. I think that's enough. Thank you.